The following is a brief guide on how to change the system settings. To access the main menu, press the back arrow button. The main menu will pop up immediately. Press Setup to enter the Settings menu. Press System to enter the System Settings menu. Press Clock to enable or disable the clock display. Press Reverse to enable or disable the reverse function. When enabled, the unit will automatically display the camera view when the vehicle is put in reverse, an optional feature. Press Audio Nav to enable or disable music play while in nav mode. Press Beep to enable or disable the button tone associated with button presses. Press EQ to enable or disable the spectrum display. When enabled, the spectrum will display after several seconds of no operation. Press EQ to enable or disable the spectrum display. When enabled, the spectrum will display after several seconds of no operation. Press Dimmer to enable or disable auto dimming. Press Video Nav to enable or disable the video while in nav mode. When enabled, the navigation screen will interrupt the display when necessary. To enter the video display settings interface, press Display. Press the plus and minus icons to adjust the brightness, color, or contrast settings. To enter the audio settings interface, press Audio. Touch any of the treble, mid-range, bass, or speaker buttons to adjust the balance of the audio settings. Then use the plus and minus icons to adjust the levels for the audio and speaker settings. The level of each speaker can be individually adjusted. You can enable or disable the optional 5.1 channel surround sound speaker configuration enhancement by pressing 5.1 channel. To adjust the BBE sound enhancement technology setting, use the plus and minus icons. If it is adjusted to the minimum value, BBE function is off. To reset the system to the factory audio settings, press Reset. You can recalibrate the screen settings by pressing Controls. A touchscreen calibration will pop up immediately. Follow the directions provided on the screen as it takes you through a series of steps. When you have completed this process, you will automatically be exited from the touchscreen calibration interface and returned to the radio interface. Please see the owner's manual for additional information on how to adjust the system settings.